Hi guys, and welcome to an ace tanker in the M8A1, my favorite tier 4 tank in the game. But before that begins, I've just got something very, very quickly I need to do, so we're going to head to... Oh, maybe I need to switch my screen here. There we go. Something I need to very, very quickly do regarding pink penguins. Um, yep, some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't. We've got 30 messages here for pink penguins. Um, we're going to go into uh, random.org. And 30. We're going to generate a random number, it's 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And it's Ivo. Ivo367. Ivo, congratulations. You have won yourself a copy of World War III Black Gold. And I will be sending that Steam key to you very, very shortly. So uh, anyway, let's get back to uh, real business in the M8A1. So this is my favorite tier 4 tank. I talked about it in my recent garage review, and I said there was going to be an ace tanker coming up. So uh, on a recent stream, I decided to play the M8A1 to show people why it was my favorite tank, or favorite tier 4 tank. Um, I use this to train up quite a lot of uh, American TD crews, but um, I don't play it very often. And... In the game prior to this, uh, for some reason the gun wasn't working. My gun would not penetrate anything. And one of the reasons I love this tank is because I use it with 110 millimeters of penetration, 75 alpha damage on a 57 millimeter. Uh, it's got a fast rate of fire, it's quite accurate. And the tank is very, very fast in a straight line. Its camo rating is pretty good. And I wanted to play this tank because it got its view range nerfed in 9.6. So I just wanted to see what the tank was going to be like. But as I say, in my previous game, for some reason, none of my shots would pen. I decided to give it another game. And this is it here. So uh, we are here on Swamp. It's a tier 5 game, but not too many tier 5s on either side. Just three. And as you can see, we're accelerating okay. The tank is quite fast in a straight line, needs a little bit of a run-up. But we're up to 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, my reload is 2.22. Now, I don't have a 100% crew. This is actually a new crew in the tank, or a relatively new crew. But uh, I do use, up, use this tank to train up some TD crews, or have used it in the past. But I really don't play it often enough to really consider it a crew trainer. But uh, as you can see, the turret traverse is quite good for a tank destroyer. And again, I was wondering whether or not the gun was broken. Because in the game prior to this, I bounced five shots. I believe it was five shots on the rear of an A43. And now I've just bounced on the side of a Panzer 3A. But there we go. Okay. Whoa, we managed to bounce an A20. Target acquired. Target unlocked. And... Penetration. We can still pen him even though he's slightly angled. Oh, PZ-3A. We're bouncing. So we bounced three shots. Okay, there's a T-46 who's rushing me. Enemy armor is hit. And I'm reversing back down the slope to avoid his uh, gun depression. But we've basically bounced four shots. The uh, gun mantlet on this tank is quite good. The gun depression is quite good. So it's a lot of, like a lot of American TDs. And uh, again, I don't really want to push this ridge to shoot the T-46 uh, because I know there are two other tanks down there. Oh, and I'm still spotted. As I don't have six cents, don't have a very good crew in the tank. But again, we've just bounced an A-20. So just trying to uh, advance, as I say, I'm testing the tank to see what the view range is like. A lot of tanks shooting at where they think I am. Just advancing, trying, trying to, uh, oh, there we go. So we get another shot in, and we spot him. Our DW2 or LTP, someone manages to kill him. So the score is 3-5. We're actually losing at the moment. Good FCM 36-pack 40 player on the enemy team. 
Kind of, he's on the other side of the map, so I don't have to worry about him. Enemy is hit. Eh, that's a low roll, 67. Penetration. You see the rate of fire is fantastic. Just bounced another shot. This is why it's one of my favorite tier 4s. When you play it hull down, use its gun mantlet, use its gun depression. It's very good. It's got a good gun. It's quite maneuverable. I think it's a very, very underrated tank. And when I say it's my favorite tier 4, I think... Oh, another shot for zero damage. But I think a lot of people are kind of surprised <laughs> that this is a great tank. But I've always said, I said it on previous replays, I think if you can play the M8A1 well... Oop, bad shot. If you play the M8A1 well, you're gonna play the Hellcat well. You're gonna play the Wolverine, the, uh... Jackson. You're gonna play a lot of, uh, American TDs well, if you can master this one. Oop. There we go. So there's kill number two. Three RT on the enemy team. Sherman three, dangerous tier five. Don't have much to aim at, but we still managed to sneak one in. Enemy armor is damaged. We didn't even scratch them. You see, I only have a small, small fraction of his turret, but when we let the gun aim in fully, which I'm actually not doing at the moment, there we go. We can pen him. So again, no sixth sense. Not sure whether or not I've been spotted. Penetration. They're knocked out. So there's kill number three. Yeah, this thing is a little beast. So again, looking at the minimap, our RT are being attacked by a PZ-1C, so I've got to relocate, and again, relocating quite quickly. Am I gonna get the kill? No, it's almost as if this guy knows what's gonna happen. But uh, the gorilla shotguns them in the face, so uh, nice work by Artie defending themselves. So the FCM 36 pack 40 has been taken out. I know the Sherman 3 is on fairly low health, but if he's using a derp gun, I'm a one hit kill. So while the armor can be very good if you go hull down, it's also an open top TD without a lot of health. I've only got 265 health. And that means anything firing a derp gun is able to one-hit kill an M8A1. So you do need to be careful. But I know where the Hetzer is, and now the Sherman has appeared, and this is not good. Oh! 160 damage done. I'm a good, very, very lucky he only hit my tracks, didn't actually pen. And I can't deal with this guy. I've got to run away. And again, this is why the tank is fast, it's maneuverable, why I like the tank. RT is focused on me. But I know that there's a RT and DW2. And I, again, you saw me do this in a recent Super Persian game. I'm basically trying to uh, trick this guy into coming to get me. If he moves forward, he's going to take shots from the tanks to my uh, right. And he is. Now he's still a two-hit kill. I need someone to get a shot in, and they do, and there we go. So there's kill number four. Three tanks left on the enemy team. But uh, I've lost over half my uh, health. Could have been easily killed. Thankfully the Sherman 3 missed a full penetrating hit. But even so... 105 hit points means that uh, Hetzer and Artie can both easily kill me. Or they can all easily kill me. I'm a one-hit kill now for pretty much everything. So once again, we're going to be able to use our speed in a straight line. And we're going to come from 
a direction that maybe the enemy aren't expecting. I know where the Hetzer is. There's a good chance that Artie has been left undefended. So I'm going to work my way along the A-line. And if someone spots the Hetzer, I'll take a few shots. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is hit. Look at this rate of fire. And for some reason, he's decided to sit there. Okay, so blind kill on a Hetzer. That's five kills. Just one needed for my top gun. One more needed. Well, there you go. I think I'm proving to you guys, or I'm showing you guys, why this is an amazing tier 4 tank. And as I say, in the past, when I s discussed this and said it was my favorite tier 4, a lot of eyebrows were raised. I think a lot of people like maybe the Hetzer as their favorite tier 4. But uh, I think this tank is just far more flexible. You've got speed, you've got mobility. I'm a one-hit kill. But you've got great rate of fire, decent gun. There's my top gun, just one enemy tank left, and it's arty. Unfortunately, it's a turreted arty. So I decide to go for it, and I probably shouldn't have. Because one thing this tank is no good at is shooting on the move. So, well played to the Su-26. Unfortunately, I die, but I was greedy. I'd already gotten my top gun. I wanted seven kills. Thankfully, our DW-2 finished up with a kill, and uh, there we go. Game was won. So yeah, M8A1, my favorite tier four tank in the game. Um, I've never been asked the question, what's my favorite tank at every tier? Uh, but I would probably have to think about that. That would be quite a long answer. But uh, definitely a tier 4. It's the M8A1. Uh, so another ace tanker in it. And a tank I don't play very often. Uh, high caliber, top gun. And that pretty much showed why it's my favorite tank. Um, it's very, very maneuverable. Very quick in a straight line. It's got a punchy gun. And it's got a very, very troll gun mantlet. If you can go hull down, use its gun depression. 1139 XP. 1530 damage. 6 kills. And, um... Yeah, fired 44. At the beginning of the game, I was missing a lot of shots, so uh, 26 hits. Wasn't firing any premium of the 26 hits, 23 pens. So, um, yeah, penetration started to let me down at the beginning, but then recovered. Um, it's a great little gun. I received eight hits, and I actually managed to uh, bounce six of them. Only two shots actually hit me, and both shots were enough to kill me because it's an open-top TD, and it just doesn't have any hit points. So you don't want to get hit in this tank uh, very much. I spotted four. So the view range nerf wasn't too bad on the tank. It still can do a job. Uh, damage 8, destroyed 6, did 287 assistance damage and earned 25,000 credits with a premium account. Um, the game before this, I was bouncing a lot of shots. That's why I decided to play the tank again. And just to see what the 9.6 uh, accuracy nerfs had done to it. And it's definitely not a very good tank for shooting on the move uh, anymore. But uh, 1708 XP overall. Again, with a premium account. And uh, yeah, that's why the M8A1 is my favorite tier 4 tank. So um, just before I finish up, uh, congratulations to Ivo for winning World War 3 Black Gold. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.